So I accidentally ripped the diaphragm out of my vacuum when I was trying to clean it out. And to fix that, I tried to take just the nose piece off, but that only got me access to this. And I needed access to the top of right here. And the only way to get that is to take the entire vacuum apart. So I did that. And now we're here, and I figured I might as well start recording a video of putting it back together in case anyone wants to know how to do that. So here's the diaphragm right here. I don't know if that's what it's actually called, but a similar piece is called that. And one, us, and two, carburetors. So it only makes sense for it to be called that in this application as well. So now we just gotta drop the screw in. Oh, there's a little bit of beetle on this because I just killed a beetle off camera. If anyone knows how to kill black beetles that are getting into your house. Drop that in the comment section because I need that right now, please. That's what this vacuum has been used for. I've been killing them and sucking them up with this vacuum. And then sometimes if I can't kill them fast enough, but the vacuum's handy, I'll just suck them up. And that's why I need the diaphragm in there. Diaphragm makes it so anything that comes in gets sucked into the vortex of the cyclone that's inside around the filter. Because the filter's right here. Air is being sucked through the filter up into the chamber, and then it goes out through the top of the vacuum, out through this black piece right here. It'll just come right out these ports. Once the vacuum turns off, the suction stops and this diaphragm closes again. So none of the duster, in my case, beetles, can come out of this. Hey everyone, it's Andrew from the future. I'm going to be voicing over this section just to give you a little bit of instruction if you want to follow along. To begin reassembly, take the clear cylinder and carefully insert it into the suction mechanism into the top while lining up the shell. Be careful of all of the wires and everything that are going to be uh, dangling between the suction mechanism and the trigger. Once you get everything lined up pretty well, uh, carefully slide it into the frame. And it should all line up uh, nice and tight on one side. And then just carefully grab the other side of the shell. And, um, don't make the same mistake I did. You can leave the little latching mechanism on the bottom off for now. We'll get to that later. Once you have everything lined up pretty well, just make sure that the shell is clicking into place and all the screws are going to be going into their correct location. If you're going to be using a drill to put the screws back in like I did, just make sure it's on the lowest setting so you don't strip out any of the plastic screw holes. When you're screwing, uh, just start from the handle and make your way forward. As you go forward, uh, you can install the latching mechanism on the bottom again and then start to screw in all the screws around that. Before you put the black piece on top, make sure that you uh, cover all the wires and make sure that they're in correct location so that they don't get pinched or squeezed as you put the black piece on top. And go ahead and just throw all the rest of the screws back in. Don't make the mistake I keep making. This hole right here is not a large screw. So since it's a small screw, we'll be using the T9 screwdriver, which is kind of difficult to get the screw in. You need to go through the larger hole and then you can put the screw in. Uh, once you're finished with that, you can just throw the last three T9 screws into the nose piece and then you're done with the uh, reassembly. And 
there we have it, completely reassembled. I would prove to you that it worked. However, it's 2.42 in the morning and I would really like to not wake anybody up at the moment. So that's the reason why I've been whispering. And um, the reason why I'm awake, well, uh, let's just not talk about that. I, I'm not good at the sleeping thing. I've, I've never really been good at it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this because this was pretty fun to do. I've always wanted to take something like this apart because I love watching AVE on YouTube and I don't know. I had an actual need to take something like this apart now and I didn't think I needed to record it at first, but then once I realized I had the whole thing apart, I figured I might as well record me putting it back together in case anyone wanted to watch a video of someone else putting it back together. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good one.